Hello there. Time for a short Jimbo Vision review for 99 Homes, aka Repo Man, aka Exorcist 2, the repossession, aka 99 Problems and Evictions 1. Ryan Little. 99 Homes is a terrific little film set in 2008 at the heart of the credit crunch. It stars Andrew Garfield out of Spider-Man, here see climbing the walls as Dennis Nash, a out-of-luck construction worker who's about to get evicted at the hands of Rick Carver, a ruthless property magnate who's about to make him, well, ruthless. Having been forced from the family home with his son and his mother, Nash is then offered a job by Carver himself. Moral quandary klaxon, will he take it? In the hands of director and indeed co-writer Ramin Barami, this is a powerful and quietly terrifying thriller about the seductive and destructive power of money, kind of a the only way is no ethics. Garfield gives a typically understated and sincere performance as the increasingly desperate Nash, but the movie arguably belongs to Michael Shannon as the shark-like Rick Carver. From the moment he arrives on the screen, he is a brooding black hole of ethics, sucking the morals out of his surroundings, until the moment midway through the movie when he suddenly unleashes what has to be this decade's Gordon Gecko Greed is Good moment, a powerful denouncement of the credit crunch and who's really to blame for it. All in all then, this is a terrific little film, edge of your seat viewing, particularly if you've ever signed a credit agreement, but also one of the few opportunities you'll ever have to say, today I snuck into 99 homes and came out the richer, without adding the words, your honour. I'll give it a big fat Jimbo Vision, 7 out of 10. And by the way, if you're enjoying our channel, why not subscribe?